In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can download and install the free Office program called OpenOffice. It's about probably about 99% compatible with uh, Microsoft uh, Office, Office Professional, uh, but it's totally free and open source. So you basically go to Google, type in OpenOffice. And you can click on the download link here. And up here, you see this green bar here, you click on that. And it gives you a little countdown until the download is ready. It's going to ask for a place to uh, download it to. So choose a location on your computer and click Save. Uh, download is about 137 megabytes. So depending upon the speed of your internet connection, uh, it might take a little bit of time. So I will pause the video while this downloads and then come back and actually demonstrate how to install it. So the download finished. So I'll close that. Close the website. Go to the downloads folder. Here is the applications. You double click on that. So yes. Minimize the download folder. Then if you click next, we'll choose a spot to install it to, so that's fine. Unpack it. Now depending on the speed of your computer, it shouldn't take more than a few minutes. To uh, do the install. Okay, then you click next. Click next again. You can just choose typical, that's fine. Click next. You probably want to create a start link in your desktop so you could. Uh, run it after it's installed. So you click next and let it do the actual install. Okay, then once it's done you click finish. You can see the icon down here. That installed, so you double click on that. And the wizard just wants your name and everything. You just click finish. And it gives you a choice of the different kind of documents you want to open. So just first off, click one of them. So here I'm doing text document. Now, once it's installed, uh, it should be very familiar. It looks very similar to Microsoft Office. So Word is like the writer program, and uh, the, there's also a, a spreadsheet program that's. Uh, compatible with Excel. One thing you do want to do uh, once you have it installed is you want to go to the preferences, the options under tools, and then go to the load save and go to general. And then both for the text documents and if you're going to use the spreadsheets, you want to go to the spreadsheet. And by default it'll save it in its own document format, which is fine if you're only going to be using files for yourself. If you plan on sharing the files with anybody else, it's probably a good idea to come through here, hit this drop down, and choose the Microsoft Word 97 2000 XP compatibility for the text documents, and then go to the spreadsheet and do the same thing, but you're going to be choosing the Excel 97 2000 XP, and then click OK. And then by default, it'll save it as a .doc file if it's a uh, text document. And I'll save it as an XLS if it's a Excel spreadsheet. But other than that, it works pretty much same as a Word and Excel. You can choose different fonts, choose different size fonts, you can bold. And it's also it's compatible, so if someone sends you a .doc file or a spreadsheet file, you'll be able to open it and uh, read it. So hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, please click like below. Consider subscribing to my channel. Also consider sharing this video uh, with anybody else who might be interested in it. 
say on Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter. And also if you have any suggestions for a VO, uh, please post it in the comments below. Thank you.